Number 52, we are doing new bowing. So the rhythm isn't too new. We have a half note and a quarter note, uh, but we are in three fours. So we've been doing a lot of four four common time throughout the book. And now we're back to doing three four, which we only have a little bit of experience with. But this is gonna prep us for Pop Goes the Weasel. It's a fun piece. Um, so this hooked bowing that we're working with is we're doing um, a form of a slur. A slur is when we do um, two or more notes during a bow. It's not what my students think. I didn't know slur meant a bad word until I was an adult. All my younger students said, oh, slur, oh no. I'm like, oh, well, they, you guys are more advanced. So it is just doing more than one note per bow. Now this one's going to be broken up a little bit. We're going to go the same direction twice. Um, so two beats, then one beat. So da, three, da, three, da, three, da, three. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. A lot of people struggle with this one. So you really have to slow down and separate all the components of the instrument. So no notes right now. We're just focusing on that bow. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Okay, now let's try it on the A string, which is a bunch of times. One, two, Three, one, ready, go. Da, da, now I have a little bit of space in there and um, depending on the piece of what we're working with will depend on how big that space will be. If we want a little bit more poppy, um, like Pop Goes the Weasel, then we'll definitely separate it more. Da, ba, 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 ba. And then the portato would be more um, more smooth and less of a space and more of a wa, ba, wa, 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 wa. So um, you could stick to just the staccato right now and then in the future do the portato or do both because why not? All right, now let's do that on open strings. We're going to do six beats on each. G, 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 D, 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 D. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Now let's just do three beats per bow or three beats per string. So G string, then D, ready, go. G, G, D. Backwards A. Good, let's do that one more time because then we're gonna really switch it up. Ready, go. Now this is going to be the tricky part. We are going to then change strings in between. So G, D, A, E, A, D, G. Now this is tricky because we are going the same direction as we change. So let's do this really slowly. Ready, go. G, D, A. That's really crazy. Um, you can do this with scales. So let's do this with scales real quick. Um, we're going to do um, three beats per note on D major scale. Ready, go, down, E.
going above and beyond, but we're going to do it anyway because it's really good practice. So we're going to change every time, every um, note. So D, E, F, G, A. Practice that first one um, a lot and then do it with this. So um, down, E, F, G, like that. One, ready, go. string crossings, the string chain, the, the note changes, they're really difficult. So take your time. You might have to say it a million times and it will get better. So back to number 52, um, we're playing G, G, A, A, B, B, C, C, B, B, A, A, G, D, G, G, A, A, B, B, C, C, B, B, G, oh, A, A, G, G. Sweet. Let's bow it. One, two, three, one, ready, go. <laughs> Make sure you hit the last note. <laughs> 